I think this is Tuesday. Tuesday morning, I don't know, 25th, 26th, 27th maybe. Almost to the end of the month. And this is what's called moving day. Uh, moving day is, uh, we're leaving a campsite and headed to the next one, which is uh, the Arctic Circle. That's, I think, our next destination. I'm all packed up. Uh, slow this morning. Sharon's uh, hasn't opened the door yet. Carolyn's opened the door, but <laughs> I don't know what she's up to. Falcon is the chuck wagon's all loaded, and the Falcon is in his rightful spot, sitting on the armrest. There's the falcon. And uh, my latest find on, uh, at a yard sale was that. So I put an extension off the back. I'm going to put some angle brackets on it to kind of keep it a little more stable. And uh, I'll be able to put a couple of totes on there. Uh, and store stuff. I don't have enough room to store stuff now, so I need to stretch it a little bit further, which is about 20 inches further. Everything's looking good. Old chuck wagon's still moving around. Uh, the cracks have uh, pretty much stopped since I rubberized everything, but expansion and contraction of wood causes these things but moving day is moving day we're going to go fill up on water fill up on gas and head north we've got about 200 miles to go from anchorage we went to denali then we went to here fairbanks and now the arctic circle and then we're going to uh do a little panning for gold um, up by a town called Circle and then we're coming back here um, this is just in the route of getting back to heading to uh, BC which will probably be in about a week and then we'll turn around and uh, start inching our way back to the uh, back to the US border but just want to let you know, guys, what's up. I don't know how the reception is going to be. I'll try to get this uploaded so you guys can uh, pretty much know what we're up to. Our little Alaskan journey is moving right along. Locking everything down. But anyways, take care, and uh, we'll talk soon. If we can, we'll post something from the Arctic Circle. We'll get some pictures. And I think they said something about a certificate. If you make it, which means you don't blow a tire, you don't crack a windshield. Uh, one of the ladies had a bad tire, so she got four brand new ones. So she probably will be the only one that makes it without a tire problem. Mine are getting a little thin. The road is real bad. But we'll, we'll give her a... A good old try. Anyways, talk soon. Take care.